And tonight, this interaction that you see between us here is why Christiansburg police have launched an internal investigation. Investigators will try to determine if the officer made the right call by letting Delegate Chris Hurst off with only a warning after he blew over the legal alcohol limit. If you would have known that, I would not, I would not feel comfortable with you driving. And police are also taking a closer look at their policies. Now, yesterday here on 10 News at 6, we showed you this text message that the officer sent after that incident. As you can see, his supervisor mentions a law that would have kept Hearst from being arrested or prosecuted. And that's something that many of you were and are outraged to learn. Today, we did some more digging into that law. And as 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett learned, lawmakers are already taking steps to change it. She joins us live tonight in the newsroom. So, Lindsay, changing the constitution Constitution, though, is what it would take, and that's not a quick process. That's exactly right. It is not quick or necessarily easy, but today the state Senate took that first step. I also talked with voters who say that they're surprised that the Constitution gives legislators immunity, and they're hoping it'll change. A Virginia law that protects state senators and delegates from getting arrested while they're in session. That's not, it's not fair could be changed. Branson Tilly and Melody Elacity say everyone should be treated equally. I don't think that because you serve in a public office that you should not be considered part of the public. I think it maybe puts them above everyone else, um, which really isn't the case. I mean, you might be a senator, but still. Thursday, the state Senate unanimously agreed to consider amending that law. Currently, legislators can only be arrested for treason, felony, or breach of the peace during session or 15 days before or after a session. But they'd be immune from misdemeanors like DUIs. This new amendment, Joint Resolution Number 87, would change the law to read that senators and delegates can be arrested by a judge with authorization of the attorney for the Commonwealth or the law enforcement agency having jurisdiction over the offense. Senator Bill Stanley supports the resolution. We are elected to serve the people, and we also have to understand that in serving the people, uh, writing the laws, that we are also subject to the laws. So when uh, a delegate or a legislator, whether they be Republican or Democrat, engages in criminal behavior while they are a delegate or senator, then they should be held accountable in the same manner as every citizen that we represent. The House did try to change the immunity law back in 1997, but it didn't pass. This time around, first, both the House and Senate have to pass the joint resolution this session and next session after the new House of Delegates takes over, before it'll go to voters at the ballot box to decide whether or not to change the law. I would definitely vote for that. I definitely would. The earliest this new proposed resolution could get passed into law would be 2022. Live in the newsroom, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News working for you.